He said she's a depreciated asset. Now, I'm a, I'm a, now you're going to say I'm simping. Watch this. I'm the type of man. I posted this before. I don't know if you saw it. I fall in love initially. I don't fall in love later. I fall in love initially. There's something about you that I love. I fall in love initially. Okay? Initially, I fall in love. After that, I learned to pull back because of some, you know, circumstances. I pull back after that. So I fall in love initially. Another thing about me. Well, I'm not boasting. This is just, I'm just being open and honest, okay? Another thing about me is that every, if my wife makes me happy and, and, and she's in the proper frame, I fall in love with her every time I see her. I fall in love all over again. Every time I see her. That's, that's a quality that I have. I don't fall out of love. I get frustrated you know, I get depressed. I get through with. That's what I do. I don't fall out of love per se. I start off loving. Then I, I settle down on to reality. Okay. I start off here. Then I float back down to reality. And maybe that love stays. Maybe it stays. Okay. But every time I see my wife, I fall in love all over again. When they say absence makes the heart grow fonder. Well, if she was absent for five minutes, was in the was in the restroom or 15 minutes in the shower and she walked out of the shower, you know, past me or toward me and I saw her again, I fall in love all over again. So that's a personal quality. But nevertheless, I don't feel like women. I'm saying this to say I don't feel like women necessarily depreciate. They depreciate for the next dude. Look at it like an NBA contract. Who can pay Giannis Antetokounmpo? Who can pay him the most money? Okay. Who can pay uh, uh, when LeBron James contract come back around? Who can pay him the most money? Th they set it up financially that the team that you're currently with can pay you more money than any team you will go to. They set it up that way. So a woman is valuable for the man she has. That's why she has to wear. She has to carry herself for that man. Okay. She can't carry herself for the streets. She can't put on makeup and lashes and the nails and the stuff that your man don't like. She can't dress in the way that her husband doesn't like. Then she's depreciating herself. Why? Because she's trying to appeal to the streets. That's where the depreciation comes in. She's not a depreciating asset in and of herself. My wife is not a depreciating asset. She can be Oda Bilal Mandalic in an accident, you know, and have to have a vagina surgery and have to remove the vagina, you know. She's not a depreciating asset because me as a Muslim man, I have option to marry someone else that can fulfill that, you know. And if I marry anybody else and my wife was paraplegic or whatever, Oda Bilal Mandalic, I would tell that next person, look, this is my wife. Uh, uh, I, I need to help her, you know bathe and i gotta do all that if you ain't gonna be helping with that then we we ain't gonna work we gotta actually help me with that you're gonna get some of these blessings too whether you want them or not you know that's gonna be a stipulation i'm not leaving somebody because their health depreciated so on and so forth or their looks depreciated that's not why you leave you leave when they when their looks are for the streets when they're wearing, wearing mink eyelashes and they doing this you know you ain't even gotta buy a ceiling fan or a fan in your house because every time they blink you, you get a burst of air, you know, not even fresh. But nevertheless, uh, I don't see women as depreciating assets except for that next man. You, a woman is depreciated for that next man. If she resigns with the team she's on, she resigns with her husband, meaning that she renegotiates the contract and come into her husband's frame, come closer to her husband's frame, become more submissive, more traditional, more feminine, more fit, so on and so forth, more cooperative then she gets paid the most with the man she's with. She depreciates when she goes to another team with my NBA analogy.